Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels today. Today is June the 16th of 2023, and I'd like to share another word with you from the Lord that will encourage you. This word today is quite short, but highlights once again the goodness of God the trustworthiness of God, his faithfulness to come through on his promises for those of us who cry out to him and who put their trust in him and not in our circumstances. This word today is titled, A Day of Deliverance. I'll begin by reading scripture. Luke 1, verses 49 through 51. For the Mighty One has done great things for me. Holy is His name. His mercy extends to those who fear Him from generation to generation. He has performed mighty deeds with His arm. This scripture speaks of the goodness of God a testimony that he performs his wonders on behalf of those who love him, that he extends his mercies to each new generation. Malachi 4 verse 2 But for you who fear my name, the Son of Righteousness will rise with healing in his wings, and you will go free leaping with joy like calves let out to pasture. This scripture highlights God's promise to those who fear his name. He will come to heal and to set the captives free. I'll begin reading this word. My peace shall flow like a river into every household, says the Lord into every place where men gather, for I am releasing abundant rains of blessing upon all mankind. My peace shall flow like a stream, washing away barriers of resentment and division. My peace shall flow as a healing balm that is broken and the oil poured forth. It will be released on the head the church, and will flow down the garments and into the streets. My balm of Gilead will be broken and poured out in this day, says the Lord, and my peace shall enter the homes of my people and will flow out into the homes of those who don't yet know me. They will know my peace and my grace shall be upon them. This is a time of great grace for the church and for the world, for I am releasing and pouring out my grace upon all mankind, and my grace shall be sufficient for all your circumstances, all your trials, and even in tribulation. My grace shall keep you safe under my wing. So draw near to me, Incline your ear to hear my voice, for the whole earth shall mourn at my coming. I am releasing a hunger and thirst into the people for the knowledge of the Lord, and as I do this thing, all men shall be drawn unto me. And when they hear of me and of my great and awesome works, they will praise the Lord God their Maker and fall in reverence before me, for they will be in awe of my workings. They will clearly see that I am God in the day in which I do these things. The angels rejoice before me day and night, for great is the Lord God, and he is greatly to be praised. Hear my voice, incline your ear to me, for I am about to do a new thing in the earth, says the Lord. Your sons and your daughters will fall before me in reverence of my name. 
I am releasing great streams of my life into your children. They shall be released to dance before me. They shall leap like calves being loosed from the stall. You shall see these things, for I am arousing my zeal for your children. I am releasing the life of my son into them, my resurrection life. They shall be loosed and leap forth in my power, says the Lord. They shall join in the flow of worship going up to my throne. They shall tune their instruments to the sound of heaven, to the sounds of the heavenly choir, to the sound of the coming of the Lord. They shall lift up their countenance unto him. They shall look to him for their help. Do not fear for them. Do not tremble as those with no hope. For in this day I shall surely do these things, says the Lord. Take heart, my people. Draw near to me, for a new day is dawning, the day of deliverance for those who have walked in darkness. For my zeal alone shall accomplish these things. Who has known the mind of the Lord? Who can comprehend his ways? Who can fathom the depth of his love? His mercy is great, and his love endures forever. Rest in me, my people. Put your hope in the Lord Almighty, for he is able to do abundantly above all you think or ask. My arm is not too short that it cannot accomplish these things. Look to me, my people, for your redemption draws nigh. Put your hope in the one who died for you, the one who rose again and lives forever. Lean not on your own understanding, for my ways are not your ways. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says. In this word today, the Lord is telling us that He is releasing His mercy and His grace. And though we may have given up hope on our unsaved loved ones, on our children, and on the world in general, the Lord is encouraging us not to fear, but to trust the moving of his spirit to bring his healing and his deliverance to this generation. The Lord is telling us that his grace is being poured out and that his grace is sufficient to get us through the difficult times. The Lord is encouraging us to keep our eyes on him and on what he is doing because he is doing a new thing. He is breaking through on our behalf and making a display of his wonderful works to bring healing and deliverance. May we look to him to receive the peace that he is pouring out upon his church in this day. And may our households be blessed. May our children be be released into freedom, set free to dance and rejoice in him. These are God's promises towards his people because his mercy is great. Let us give thanks with a grateful heart to the one who can do all things. Thank you for listening today. Have a great afternoon. And we'll talk to you again in the next video. Love and blessings to you all in the name of Jesus. Bye for now.